Before we begin on today's DIY, a word from our sponsor. This is Tika. Isn't she the cutest little kitty on the planet? Look at that little smooshy face. Anyway, today we're going to paint a jumpsuit. Here are my art supplies. I just wanted you to see how this little corner is fairly organized. Don't look anywhere else, but it's doing all right. So I happen to have a bin of fabric paint, and I got this jumpsuit at a resale shop, and I loved it. I loved the fit, but I didn't love that it was so ding-dang boring. So I remember that there was a jumpsuit, not too too long ago that was for sale at a big box store and I just didn't get to it in time so I didn't get my kitten mittens on it and you know what that's fine because what better thing to do than to just DIY it myself so at first the weather was beautiful I thought let me do this outside y'all five minutes in my knees were screaming so I would highly recommend not squatting down and painting on a jumpsuit if this is a DIY that you decide to pursue let's talk about what I'm using here so I am using fabric paint um, you could probably use acrylic paint I remember when I was in high school I used to paint flowers and one time I painted the Beatles on a bottom of a pair of jeans and I used acrylic paint and they went through the wash multiple times and didn't come out but today I'm using fabric paint and I I actually didn't go out and buy any new colors. I just used what I had on hand and kind of put colors together that I thought were going to look good. And I say thought because I don't necessarily think that I'm great with putting colors together. But once I do put colors together, sometimes I realize, eh, that's not going to work. So case in point, after painting on what I thought was going to be like a really bright fluorescent orange, but when it dried, it turned into kind of like a ketchup or blood red, which neither of which I wanted on my pants, I decided to paint over it. Oh, here's a little view of how painstakingly slow I am with painting or just the fact that creating takes a long time. But regardless, I ultimately did not like that orange or red color. And the cool thing was, is that what I found with this fabric paint, I could just paint over it. Now, let me tell you a little bit about this fabric paint because I went back and I looked at it just now and one of them is called a stencil paint and that's what I actually ended up using the most that's what's right there in that tube and the reason I like the stencil paint is because on the bottle it says no drip which I find hilarious anyway that's great because that means this paint is a lot thicker, more opaque. I did have to go back over some of the colors multiple times to kind of get like a really thick color, but this stencil paint, I didn't have to do that. It's called stencil fabric paint. And I also use just regular fabric paint and it was fine too, but I did really like how thick this other paint was. Now, according to the directions, when you're finished with painting or doing whatever, you have to set the fabric and to set the fabric, you're supposed to iron it by flipping it inside out. Well, there was no way I was going to be able to flip it inside out because it would be like painted fabric touching painted fabric. I just had this vision that it would end up like sealing itself together. So I used what's called a press cloth, which is just a random piece of fabric that you put over whatever it is you're going to iron. And then I ironed it that way. As far as washing goes, it just says to machine wash inside out. Now I haven't washed it yet, so I will keep you posted. Now I, this made me have so many memories of when I was in eighth grade. When I was in eighth grade, I wanted to fit in so badly and all the kids in like, what was that? Like the late eighties, early nineties, they were wearing shirts by Esprit and I couldn't afford a shirt by Esprit because they were mega expensive. And I painstakingly painted the words Esprit on a shirt. And this gave me all sorts of flashbacks. And back then I was embarrassed to wear a handmade shirt but now embrace it. I mean, I salvaged a jumpsuit that maybe was destined to end up in some sort of landfill. And then I was able to put my own spin on something that I had wanted to buy from a store and it ended up making it my very own. So I encourage you to tackle a DIY. Why did I say tackle that way? I don't know. Tackle it. Just tackle it, y'all. Toodles.